and looking at how important education is when it comes to climate issues. We're spending the day at a school in Birmingham that's using the day to get kids more involved with the environment of their local community and what they can do to reduce air pollution on their journey to school. Well, let's cross over now to Saltley Academy and join the BBC Asian Network's Priya Rai. Priya. Yes, Rita, as you say, so today at COP26, it's less about what the politicians have to say, kind of, and it's more about what young people want to see for their futures, because at the end of the day, whatever we do or don't hear from COP26, it's going to affect the future lives of children, young people, the very people who are around me. Now, where I am here at Selby Academy, we're not too far from Alan Rock. There's about 1,200 kids who go to this school, and it's an area that is one of the most populated parts of Birmingham City, and it's also got one of the youngest demographics as well. Uh, some of the climate issues that will affect children at a school like this are things like high levels of air pollution and a lack of access to green spaces. Now, I've got Peter White with us, who's the head teacher. Uh, and Peter, those are two things that you're trying to do something about today here at the school. Yes, so um, historically, the Friday is the youth uh, day of COP26, and we're bringing uh, those really important events about climate change uh, here to Salt Lake Academy. So this morning, we've had a, a workshop from uh, doctors and clinicians from the Birmingham Children's Hospital, helping our children become experts on asthma and understanding the important links between asthma and air pollution. We've had uh, an air quality monitor uh, installed out on our streets so our students can look at the quality of the air um, right outside on our busy street and compare that uh, to the air quality all over the, all over the world. And importantly then today we are planting and redesigning an outdoor space, it's going to be an outdoor classroom, planting trees and looking at the, um, looking at the ways in which what we can do at Salt Lake Academy that will have that positive impact on climate change. Thank you very much and we'll be at the school all day so we'll see some of those things uh, that Pete's talking about throughout the day. But loads of kids getting involved, two of them are here with me, I've got Tanya and Irina. So basically we had experts coming in and we were learning about the links of air quality and asthma and how it like affects like young people specifically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Irina, is there something you've learned today that perhaps you didn't know before or I've, you found quite interesting? I've learned that a lot of youth suffer with asthma and not a lot of people dispose of their inhalers correctly. One way to dispose properly is incineration and you can go to your pharmacy and ask if they incinerate their inhalers properly, otherwise if you don't go to your pharmacy and ask and your inhaler gets disposed wrong, all the gases could contribute to the CO2 and then they get released wrong. That is quite a fact yes. and you've become quite an expert in quite a short amount of time and they've had loads of experts teaching kids these things here today. These are just some of the workshops that have been going on. One of the guys that they've got in to help uh, is from Birmingham Children's Hospital, Dr Satish Rao who uh, is with us here as well. Dr. Satish Rao, um, in your experience, you know, Birmingham as a city, it's a place that's often dubbed a car city, uh, and reports saying that air pollution can contribute to around 900 deaths each year. What impact do you see on kids' health? Poor air quality affects children and youngsters across all age groups. In those with an underlying problem such as asthma, we know that poor air quality causes asthma attacks. It, has, it affects their heart, it affects their immune system as well as their development. But more worryingly, poor air quality also has an impact on the development of the unborn child. We know that when pregnant moms are exposed to poor air quality, there is effect on how the baby grows inside their womb. Mm. So it does have a big, big impact. When sometimes the health impacts aren't as dramatic or obvious, or they could be longer term really, how do you get that message across, especially to, to our young people? Well, let's be under no illusion. Poor air quality is affecting the health of our children and youngsters. It is affecting their ability to achieve their potential. I think we need to do more of the activities that we have done at the school today. It's been amazing to talk about this. It's been amazing to share our knowledge and also involve youngsters in creating solutions to address this problem. In addition, we've also got to do our bits. You know, each one of us need to think about uh, how we can contribute to improving the air quality. 
it is um, our responsibility, each and every person's responsibility, I think. Mm. So, as you can see, there's lots of issues to talk about. It, they'll be doing it throughout the day here at Salt Lake Academy. And, of course, around the country as well, we've seen lots of kids raising climate issues, and that's what kids here at Salt Lake will be doing throughout the day. Priya, many thanks. Priya Rai reporting for us there in Birmingham.